this light bulb went bang quite spectacularly recently. Um, this was in my daughter's bedroom as a sort of reading light next to her bed and she complained it was making a funny noise so uh, I bought the whole light downstairs and just had it on sort of next to where I was sitting just watching TV for a few hours just to see what would happen. See if I could hear the strange noise that she talked about. Instead of that it just uh, worked perfectly for maybe an hour and then very quickly sort of made a sort of buzzing noise bit of a fizzing noise and then quite a loud pop and uh, went out and uh, as you can see here there's um, some debris inside the top of the, the globe here there's something something's popped out of off the circuit board quite um, dramatically I think so I'm going to open it up and have a look inside popped off quite easily. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so all the LEDs are... Uh, I was expecting one of these LED chips to have um, popped off possibly, but they're all still there. You can see one has clearly failed here. We've got this black spot here. So that may well be the root cause of whatever happened. Have a look at that again in a minute. And what's actually inside here? Let's have a look. Well, there's... I don't know what that is. It's a little bit of uh, fiber or something. It looks like I'm thinking actually, having just watched the slow mo guys' videos about blowing up capacitors, is that the inside of a capacitor? And that's also part of the uh, capacitor can or a capacitor's exploded. Maybe. Okay, let's see what else we can find. So I should just be able to prise this circuit board out of the top here, I think. It's just glued in around the side with some sort of elastic. Structure in here. I can see the there's the body of the capacitor. That is just the empty can. What else can we see in here? There's lots more of the fibrous stuff that was inside the capacitor. The paper. It's like the paper sort of insulating material that's wrapped up inside the capacitor. It's still blown everywhere. And this, there's the remains of the capacitor. That's gone quite, quite spectacularly gone bang, hasn't it? So I've got a bit of the remains of the metal inside one of the plates, I think. Is that still attached? That's still attached to one of the... No, maybe not. It's still attached to that electrode there. So that's one of the electrodes of the capacitor that comes up from the pins on the outside and attaches to the wrapped uh, foil, which makes one of the plates of the capacitor. The other one is just gone completely. A few other bits and pieces in here. All right, let's chop this out and we'll have a closer look at it. All looks fairly intact in there. The main sort of mains connections are still intact, but just a lot of paper and other fibrous crap in there where it exploded. 
really small driver board here. Can't tell you much about what's going on with this. I'm not uh, no great expert on electronics, but uh, another capacitor here must be on the input side. I think it's like a bigger, much bigger capacitor. So that one is 4.7 microfarads, 400 volts. So that's on the input side. I presume we've got a is that a rectifier and then something to control the switch mode transformer here As something's failed this is obviously the uh, capacitor that's failed is a uh, 4.7 microfarad 50 volt capacitor so that's on the output side but something has led to that maybe being exposed to a much higher voltage than 50 volts and it was not happy and blew its top quite literally maybe that was caused by the failure of this one LED chip here I don't know that shouldn't I mean, if that failed open circuit uh, if that failed short circuit rather than the You'd suddenly have a much lower load on the on the LED side here that may have allowed too much current to flow or I don't know let me know in the comments if you uh, can tell me what actually happened here let's have a little probe around on these LEDs and see what's going on let's see what we can work out well, I spent a bit of time probing around on here trying to see what's what's what with this circuit but not any wiser really this failed LED chip is not uh, conducting, so it hasn't gone short circuit completely, at least. Um, not quite sure how these LEDs are all connected up. It looks very much as if they're all in parallel. You can just about see, if you catch the light right, you can just about see there's a kind of star pattern of the uh, negative wire goes to this kind of central circle trace which then has arms coming out to each of the eight LED chips and the positive goes to the outer trace there so they're all in parallel and so one of them failing shouldn't have caused the whole thing to fail particularly so something else must have happened but uh, there you go that is a very failed capacitor didn't just stop working it uh, literally exploded so all good fun the bulb has been replaced life continues I hope you found that interesting and uh, see you next time